Hello. Today I'm going to tell you the story of Reynaldo Hahn, who was of German descent but was born in Venezuela, and he lived all his life in France. Most of his music has now been forgotten, so sit back and let me play you one of his beautiful tunes. Reynaldo Hahn was born on August 9, 1874 in Caracas, Venezuela. His father was of German descent and his mother was of Spanish. At the very beginning he showed interest for music, though the ugliness of the political system caused his father, wife and his 13 siblings to move. And they moved far. They moved all the way to Paris, France. Reynaldo was only three years old. Though this move proved positive for the young Reynaldo, for he was exposed to ballet, opera, writers, and various other musicians. He sang arias from operas and accompanied himself on the piano. His debut concert, around the age of eight, was at the Salon of Princess Matilda, the niece of Napoleon Bonaparte. At the age of ten, he entered the Paris Conservatory, a school known for child prodigies. One of his fellow classmates was none other than Maurice Ravel. He started writing songs and at the age of 13, his most famous song was written. Inspired by the verses of Victor Hugo, he wrote, Si me ver a Vientazel. His song was published in Le Figaro and it became an instant hit. Because of one song at the age of 13, Reynaldo Hahn attracted important people to his side. He was invited to important social circles and became their number one musician. By the time he was 19, he had written numerous works. Most of his works were inspired by his close friendships with young women like Cleo de Merode, which he says, I worship her as a great and perfect work of art. And the dancer Leon de Pugy, who was his sweetness in life. Unfortunately, most of his relations with women ended most of which because they got married. He would often say, I hate married people. Then Han met Marcel Proust, a writer, and they shared similar passions for art, literature, and music. They would spend a lot of time together, traveling and working on projects. Proust once said, Everything I have ever done has always been thanks to Reynaldo. Reynaldo Han was a closeted homosexual though he would always write criticism against homosexuality. By the time he was 30, he finally became a French citizen, and he volunteered for the French army in 1909, where he would continue to conduct and compose music in the trenches. After World War I, he continued working as a conductor, and was the main music critic of Le Figaro, the same paper that brought him popularity. He fled Paris because of the Nazi occupation in 1940, but after the war he returned as a director of the Paris Opera. He died in 1947 of a brain tumor. Although Reynaldo Hahn composed many pieces for piano and orchestra, works for ballet, six operas, and hundreds of melodies, most of his work has now been lost and forgotten. He just wasn't able to achieve the same posthumous fame as his contemporaries Maurice Ravel and Eric Satie. 